Yellow particles raining down from the Denver sky near Commerce City, triggering two schools to prompt a lockout. The material was released from Suncor, one of Colorado's biggest refinery polluters. Our Denver 7's Abby Guajardo spoke with parents demanding answers. And some of the parents say they... They were never notified about this. Exactly. I spoke to several parents today who say they didn't know anything happened until they arrived at school today. One mother did show that she received a notification, but that was really vague. While the company is attempting to reassure community members that they are safe, locals are skeptical. Just after 4 p.m., students packed up and headed out. Parents like Lucy waited anxiously. I was freaked out, so right now it's just confusion, really. Her daughter, an eighth grader, attends Adams City Middle School, one of two schools that went into lockout mode on Wednesday, just before 11 a.m., when particles began raining, creating a dusting on cars. That's dangerous. Those are the things that our kids are breathing. These are my neighbors. My, my child is in there. Suncor, an oil refinery two miles away from the school, took fault for the release of a clay-like material into the air. They called it non-hazardous, adding that anyone who made contact should wash their hands and clothing. Well, explain to us what was it? What is what's out there? How does it how does it affect our animals, our dogs out there? How does it affect our children? Lucy, a single I, I mother of two. Moved to Commerce City six years ago. Can't afford to live anywhere else. Only a three minute drive from Suncor. The children and the elderly are the weakest among our community and that is the people that is the most affected. Earlier this year, an investigation by the Denver Post exposed the company broke the limit for an invisible toxic gas that can be deadly failed to tell neighbors. It's time that we get answers really and I believe they need to be held accountable. Now we did reach out to the Department of Public Health. They told our partners at the Denver Post they plan to review air monitoring data. Now Suncor is offering anyone affected by the particles a free car wash. Local environment leaders say it's simply not enough and they want answers. At the newsroom, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7 News. Addie, thank you very much.